Lots of talk this week after Kobe passed Shaquille O'Neal about who the greatest Laker of all time is. Mm. I believe you referred to Kobe as the greatest Laker of all time. Do you agree? No, I don't. Uh, I would go uh, Kareem, Magic, then it's between Jerry West and Kobe right there. But um, Kareem is the greatest Laker, and I think Magic is the second greatest Laker. I've heard a lot of folks saying that Magic is for everything he brought to the floor. Um, well, Ma- how do you how do you rank them? Well, Magic is one of the best. I mean, but you know, in this world we live in today, where you know everything is celebrated by championships and stats, he's passed everybody up. So by but that Kobe basis has. alone, yeah. So by that basis alone, you know, uh, it makes him you know the greatest Laker. You know, he's tied with Magic, Magic for championships. Yeah. And, well, Kareem uh, got the most. Yeah, but he won one with Milwaukee. Well, but we we count the championship. Huh? Well, we're talking greatest Laker. But well, but I still Kobe. think that. Uh, Magic, Magic and Kareem are one and one eight. And I think, listen, Jared West get lost in there sometimes. Underdog tells us Kareem did win five with the Lakers. Okay, yeah. but, well I knew that. But um, listen, <laughs> I think that, listen, I, I mean, we can all disagree, but I think Kareem, Magic, and Jerry and Kobe are right there together. I, I think just Magic was the most dynamic Laker. He was the guy who changed the face of what basketball was. Forget just the Lakers. He changed the face of basketball. So in that regard, but Kareem to me was the, the most dominant player as a Laker. Shaq was the most dominant player in his era, but he didn't. I don't think he was long enough as a Laker. You know, that to Orlando. So that's the only reason he kind of falls out of this thing. I'll be just disappointed. No, that's the only reason you fall out of the conversation. But if you play maybe four or five more years with the Lakers, we might. I'm gonna say that. I'm just saying you know. And lastly, I, I'm gonna say that Kobe is the best Laker because of the, the so you tenure. Have, you have him at the top of the list. Because of the tenure. But Magic is still the most dynamic. He changed the game. But because of the tenure, because of the st- he's still going, he's going to have a longer career. But Kareem is, was the best player. If you say, which guy are you going to take? You have to say Kareem is the best player. And I have player. to commend Magic. Mean, just, 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 just say, I agree but with But we're just that. talking about a Laker. Well, I, I, Right. Yeah, but he's not agreeing with you. And, you know, he didn't. I, I I'm saying, saying because Kareem, I said Kareem, Kareem was the best, and then Magic was second, and Kobe. He says, you have to say that Kareem is the best. I said, you could just say I, I agree. The best player. I have to commend the best Magic. Laker. It's a different. I have to commend Magic for his answer because they asked Magic the same question the other day. Magic Johnson's answer was, I have no ego. Kobe Bryant is the best Laker. I don't mind moving aside. And I really commend Magic Johnson for that statement. End of discussion. More highlights. Who was the most dominant Laker? Four of no, no, Will, yeah. then me. Oh, you you play me Will. like that. I, 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 I got yeah, Will, then right. me. I got Will at four. At four and Shaq at five. Will, then me. You got Jerry Weston. I got him and Kobe three, four. Well, you're going to uh, have, well, you you have to define dominance then. I mean, I don't really know what dominance is. But dominance is, is Will. I mean, because now you, know, you got dominant. people averaging 20 points and eight rebounds. Dominance is the White Howard player against you in the last couple of years. It's not. He had 21, 22. Like when I had 31, you had three. The White playing against him is loud.